Hey guys and welcome to our channel. Are you fascinated by science and technology? Are you one of those who thinks about the future constantly? Do you wonder what life will look like in 2050? If yes, then this video is best for your curious minds. In this video, we will be looking at our life in the future and the technologies that will be used in 2050. Let's start. Nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is just getting famous and famous since its creation, and these are some ways it can be used in the near future. 1. Doctors inside your body. By attaching gadgets to ourselves, we can track our health thanks to wearable fitness technology. Even electronic tattoos in prototype form can detect our vital signals. However, by reducing the size of this technology, we may achieve more success by injecting or implanting small sensors into our bodies. This would allow clinicians to personalize their care while capturing far more thorough data with less effort for the patient. There are countless uses for this technology, from monitoring inflammation and post-surgery healing to more unusual ones where electronic gadgets actively disrupt our body's natural organ control signaling processes. The development of so-called electroceuticals is already being pursued by large healthcare organizations like GlaxoSmithKline, despite the fact that these technologies may seem to be a thing of the far future. 2. Sensors everywhere. These sensors are more compact, intricate, and energy efficient thanks to recently developed nanomaterials and manufacturing processes. For instance, it is now economically feasible to print several sensors with tiny characteristics on flexible rolls of plastic. This makes it possible to install sensors at several locations across vital infrastructure in order to continuously verify that everything is functioning as it should. Nuclear power plants, airplanes, and even bridges could benefit. Three tackling climate change. We need new ways to produce and use power in order to combat climate change, and nanotechnology is already making a difference. It has made it possible for solar panels to generate more power from sunlight and assisted in the development of batteries that can store more energy for electric vehicles. Utilizing nanotexturing or nanomaterials such as nanowires or carbon nanotubes to transform a flat surface into a three-dimensional one with a significantly larger surface area is the common approach in both applications. The devices work more effectively because there is greater room for the processes that enable energy creation or storage to occur. Nanotechnology may eventually make it possible for items to collect energy from their surroundings. The creation of new nanomaterials and ideas has the potential to produce energy from movement, light, temperature changes, glucose, and other sources with high conversion efficiencies. 3D Printing Technologies for 3D printing are evolving swiftly. The variety and types of alternatives available will continue to expand as a result of the increasing need for special materials that can meet the specifications of final products. The new generation of printers' capacity to handle a wider variety of innovative materials, notably industrial-grade options, will be crucial. This makes it possible for companies to use additive manufacturing where they previously couldn't, even while equipment prices are still high. Aster print speeds are driving down the cost of components. These developments will quicken as more companies start using 3D printing. The adaptability of 3D printing is expanding as a result of the development of procedures like dual extrusion. As a result, a greater number of sectors are adopting 3D printing. Printing without support structures is another discovery that is anticipated to have a substantial impact since it increases the potential uses of additive manufacturing. In our opinion, there is a lot of room for cost and time savings. BCI Technology a brain-computer interface, BCI, is a device that monitors central nervous system, CNS activity, and transforms it into artificial output that replaces, enhances, supplements, or otherwise improves natural CNS output. As a result, the CNS's ongoing interactions with its internal or external environment are altered. BCIs have the potential to significantly enhance the quality of life for those with severe motor impairments. BCIs record the user's brain activity and convert it into instructions for controlling an effector, such as a computer cursor, a robotic limb, or a device for functional electrical stimulation. It has been difficult to fully dexterously manipulate robotic and prosthetic limbs using a BCI system because it is necessary to decode complex, ideally real-time control signals from the user's brain activity. However, if BCI-controlled robotic or artificial limbs are to be utilized for daily tasks, such capability is essential. 
Although there are numerous medical applications for BCI-related technologies, there have also been created for commercial usage of non-medical applications like gaming and device control. Hyperloop One. The introduction of the Hyperloop will revolutionize how we travel. Travel times between cities will be reduced from hours to minutes. In order to achieve high speeds, minimal power consumption, and practically zero aerodynamic drag, the Hyperloop creates a near vacuum inside a tube. Battery-powered pods inside the tube travel at up to 670 mitie semapri. On board, the atmosphere is relaxing, calm, and secure for the passengers. After constructing the first Hyperloop test system in the world, Hyperloop is now concentrating on its final product. It has modified the design by putting the pod's propulsion, power, and levitation on it. The pods are not interconnected like trains are, so each one might have a distinct destination. Pods depart in a manner similar to a motorway off-ramp, while the remainder of them continue down their course. They can effortlessly connect and depart, since there are no moving elements on the rail, and levitation and guiding are located on top of the pods. Along with enabling incredibly quick travel, these developments also enable on-demand, direct-to-destination service for pods. At airplane speeds and with no direct emissions, the Hyperloop will transport tens of thousands of passengers each way every hour. The Metaverse The Metaverse serves as an example of how the future internet will operate in 2050. Users will be able to easily move between jobs, pleasures, shopping, interacting, and creative endeavors in a Metaverse, a superior digital world. What form that landscape will take is unknown. Businesses like Meta, Facebook, are investing heavily in an immersive experience where wearable gadget users abandon reality in favor of a fully virtual world and converse via avatars. Right now, the metaverse is mainly a business. Major enterprises, particularly gaming and technology companies, are fast creating the foundation. With their extensive technical skills, businesses like Facebook, Apple, Google, and Microsoft, which are in direct rivalry with one another, have developed their own metaverse services. Blue Rise. The seas, which make up 70% of our planet, are the world's greatest solar collectors and can provide a significant quantity of clean, renewable energy both day and night. Ocean power is positioned to overtake all other renewable energy sources in the globe. Blue Rise intends to provide fresh water, cooling, and power sustainably by harnessing the thermal energy of the tropical ocean. It will allow tropical islands and coastal areas to be completely energy independent and can reduce cooling-related electricity demand by up to 90%. They specialize in deep sea water applications linked to OTEC, Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion, SWAC, seawater air conditioning, and related technologies. They also offer technology and development plans for OTEC and SWAC implementation, as well as ocean ecoparks, which make use of the ocean's resources by using cutting edge technologies for desalination, agriculture, and aquaculture, among other things. Space Voyage. Over the past few years, commercial spaceflight has changed from being beyond of reach to becoming a passion project for some of the richest people on the planet. Star Trek star William Shatner was asked to go into space aboard the Blue Origin New Shepard spacecraft by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. Additionally, Elon Musk's SpaceX is building the interplanetary rocket Starship, which might be the first spacecraft to take people to Mars. These activities mark a shift in the space industry from the public to the private sector and suggest that anybody with enough money may soon be able to leave Earth. Cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is a type of digital money that does not rely on banks to verify transactions. Anyone can use this technique to send and receive money. Payments made with cryptocurrencies are only available as digital records to an online database that lists specific transactions not as genuine physical coins that can be carried and swapped. All money transfer transactions are recorded on a public ledger. The place where the digital currency is held is in digital wallets. Digital money is created by a process called mining, which makes use of the power of computers to solve difficult mathematical problems. Users may also buy the currencies from brokers, store them in digital wallets, and then use them to make purchases. Despite the fact that Bitcoin has been around since 2009, there will likely be greater financial uses of cryptocurrencies by the year 2050. And that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this a like and subscribe to our channel down below. Share the video to anyone wondering about life in 2050. 
tap on the bell icon so you shall not miss any of the uploads, and let me know of your precious views on the video in comments down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one.